This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the previous episode, we finished going through the sewers, defeated a Rancor somehow through trickery and guile, and now we found ourselves in the Black Volcar base. Now we just need to make ourselves uh, quick as we uh, try to explore the rest of this uh, place and see if we can find that swoop regulator so we can do a bike race, like so we can just speed racer it all of a sudden. Like I said, I explained last episode how I think the whole idea of basically doing all this to run a bike race is probably one of the sillier ideas in in, uh, in Star Wars storylines, but hey, you know, this is the same world that was based off uh, George Lucas's love of Flash Gordon, so. Anyway, in the last episode, we did some exploring Blast Volcar base, and we skipped a couple areas before we went on. Now, this security panel cannot be accessed without a code, and if we want to enter inside there, well, there's a nasty surprise for us here. Uh, there's actually three turrets behind this door right here. We don't want to activate them, because uh, I think it is possible to destroy them, but they've got such high to hits, and they do so much damage that they pretty much just wreck you when you uh, go in there. So, like I said, you probably could get lucky with like a, some ion grenades or grenades like thrown by all three of your companions at once before you get killed, but it's really not worth the effort. So, all right. So, anyway, in this area, we've got... Uh, couple of guards. There's a black vault car there, and then right around the corner to the left, there's another black vault car. So, we just have to be kind of, uh, careful of him. So, what I want to do is I want to try to get Mission to, uh, kind of, uh, ah, come on, Mission. I want to pull him over here, so. Ah, no, I pulled everyone else, too. Dang it. Alright, well, let's get, uh, that was like, oh, I pulled the droids, too. Well, I didn't want to pull the droids as well, but I guess uh, I've got no choice in that matter. There's actually two droids guarding a door, like, over there. And I did this. I was trying to do some of the some of the, um, uh, some of the fights off screen. I just did, like, some test runs of this just to make sure I didn't, you know, that way it, it flowed smoothly. And I would, I didn't pull the ro droids, yeah. but barely I did this time, so, oh, well. All right. Luckily, we're pretty powerful, so for the most part, I mean, he I mean, look, Zalbar took the guy out of one go, so I mean, luckily it's not. That hurt. Luckily, yeah. See, and then we beat the. Uh, and boom! They're all dead. Not too, not too bad. What? Probably could have handled that fight a little bit better, but that's just how it works in this game. Sometimes you pull AI, and sometimes they'll just completely ignore you. But oh well. There we kill a couple of those, get some energy shields and some credits. Now if we go out this door, uh, over here, we can remember back in the lower city where, uh, actually I don't know if I showed you, but there was, uh, there was a black Volcar base if we kept, if you go out from the under, lower city the first time, if you take a right and keep going, there's a doorway, uh, protected by a lot of dudes, but it's locked. And I don't remember if I killed the dudes already off screen or not. But uh, anyway, there you can't get in no matter what you do. Well, if you go through this way, it'll take you back to the lower city. So uh, nice roundabout. But anyway, we don't want to leave yet. We still need that swoop accelerator. So let's keep going on. So, ah, there's the other. It's like, so I pulled one droid and somehow completely, like, avoided the other droid. So, you know. Anyway, not too hard. I did take a couple points of damage, but... Uh, Really not much I could have done with that. So anyway, uh, got the armory here. So let's get mission to open that door first, please. With your security! If you don't have security, you can get a pass key for it. There's also a way to unlock the door, and I'll show you without yes. without security. Like if for some reason you didn't bring mission along, because she's not after you get Zalvar, she's not required. So you could uh, you could uh, after you initially open the way towards the black Volcars. Actually, no. No, yeah, you need her to open the gate, but after that, she's pretty much going to be sent back anyway. Like, if you had Zalbar and uh, Karth, and anyway, and that's, in that one we got a bunch of grenades, and this one we get a disruptor rifle, a couple of outfits, and some upgrades for armor and weapons, so nice. Uh, we'll give that armor to uh, Mission, she needs a better armor. And we also get Ion rifle for... We'll sell those eventually, because I really don't use Ion blasters throughout the game anyway, but those are mainly for robot units. Uh, I mean, it might be better to keep like one or two, if, if like if you're playing at a harder difficulty. Yeah. But on the one I'm playing at, it's not required. Oops. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, I want to quit mission with. Uh, let's see. She's only got a plus four dex, so we can give her 
this heavy combat soon be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and give her that heavy blaster so she does just a smidge more damage. Eh, we'll also put another energy shield on her, why not? Yeah, too bad. One of the only problems with playing a Zalbar is he can't what? use heavy armor, or he can't use any armor, so... But luckily he gets enough health for that. Anyway, we find a security panel over there. If we access it, uh, luckily I have computer use, so let's go ahead and activate it. We can a we can mess with the uh, commands of... Uh, we can basically have the computer like we did back on the Endar Spire, way back in the beginning. We're now utilizing it, so... If we go to this option, we can open all security doors. This is how we open up all the security doors that we either can't get a key for, or we didn't bring anyone with security. Which, you know, you should bring mission anyway, but if you didn't and didn't play a scoundrel, this is a way to do it. Because uh, someone, at least, I think even Karth has some computers, so it would just cost a lot of computer spikes to use this. So we can open up all doors, I don't need that. We can upload area schematics, not really necessary. We can open all the, we can explore this area anyway. Uh, and there's really not enough secrets around here to like really warrant that, so save the spikes. I can overload the terminal, it'll destroy it, but also hurt you in the process because you're standing there. Uh, we can also access the cameras. Each camera has a different room and something you can look around. Uh, this would probably be better if I'd been sneaking around. I could have gotten a view of this with that, but it's not like you can do anything with the cameras. I uh, can also access these barracks. Now sometimes, when you access certain rooms, you can get an extra option. Computer, override the power conduit and main barracks to hack it. We want to do that. If you have if you have computer use or the spikes, go ahead. There's no reason not to. And watch the watch the electricity fly. <laughs> They're all dead. Yep, and we even get the experience for that too. So you can go in there and fight them, but if you have the spikes, why not, right? So anyway. We kill all those. Well, except for one dude. For whatever reason, one guy always survives. I don't know why, but he does. Uh, other than that, there's nothing I don't think there's anything else we can Effect. Oh, right. Uh, we can actually turn off the uh, the uh, security system, too. So let's go ahead and do that. I think there's also a key card you can get to do that as well. Uh, but I want to go ahead and uh, use the uh, uh, computer spikes, get the experience for it. So anyway, hooray. Nice. And we gained a level for Zalbar and Mission. I'll do that here in a second. Uh, okay. Yeah? Uh, we want to go in here. Another gotcha. security door. Mission can get that pretty easily. And we got a black bulk iron here causing trouble. Uh, there's only one dude. He is grass. Sorry. May you join the force. Basically. He got shot once. What the oh, one apparently. I surrender. I surrender. Please don't kill me. I'm not like these others. I'm not like Brezhik and his new Volkars. <laughs> Sorry. I only fight to the death. That's the dark side option. What are you talking about? You're a Volkar, aren't you? I am a Volkar, but I was here long before Brezhik took over. I was a Volkar back when it meant something. Back when we had honor. Then Brezhik and his followers took over and turned our gang into a bunch of violent thugs and bloodthirsty bums. Now they treat us all original Volkars like second-class citizens. Take me, for example. I used to be one of the highest-ranking Volkars in the gang. Now I'm stuck in guard duty here at the back, all thanks to Brezhik. If you hate Brezhik so much, why don't you just leave the gang? I mean, better give me some if you want to live. I'm going to let you live. Get out of here. Sorry, too risky to let you live. So you could just straight out kill him if you want to, but we're not going to do that. Why don't you leave? I've been trying to work up the courage to leave, but it's not that easy. Brezhik's followers will hunt, try to hunt us down anyone who leaves the Volkart gang. He says he won't let traitors live. <laughs> Brezhik and his followers are the real traitors. They turned on Gad and now they slaughtered the backs of the streets and anyone else they happen to run across. Brezhik knows anyone with character will never willingly follow a leader like him, so he uses brutality and violence to stay in power. Uh, better give me some information. Nah, we don't really need it. Uh, uh, too risky. I'll let you live. Get out of here. Thanks, thanks a lot. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble for you on the way out. In fact, I hope you take Brezhik and Zulkers down. Yeah, that's the plan, or at least we need to get... Well, I don't know if we need to take him down. We at least need to, to get Bastila from uh, Brezhik, so that's all I care about. Get a couple of grenades and a repair kit. Excellent. Uh, like I said, a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the... Uh, um, like items you can get in the game. A lot of them are randomized. Whoops, there's a... Ah, uh, this is the room we uh, hacked earlier. There's one more black Volcar in here. Let's uh, go ahead and get rid of him. Come on, attack! Ah, oh, come on, with all my bonuses, this should, this should be a snap. Yeah, sometimes the rolls just aren't in my favor. I should have technically have killed him in one shot, but yeah, well. Anyway, let's uh, pick up the remains of all those who survived the, uh, the explosion in here. 
boom, an explosion. I got some creds. Ah, there's the pass card. Uh, since I already hacked everything with a computer skill, I didn't technically need it. See, this is a way you could actually bypass certain areas. Like, if you didn't want to do all that hacking, you could just... Like, if you didn't have the computer skill, for example, you could just kill these guys and then get the pass card. So this game gives you multiple ways to uh, bypass certain areas. Like, if, for example, if you were just playing a combat build or didn't want to mess with that at all or, or you put it on easy mode or whatever, then... Well, there you go. You have options to get around uh, without having to use all those skills. So that's pretty nice that the game gives you multiple ways to uh, survive or do encounters. But I like the fact that the game, if you do put points and skills... Oh, by the way, bombs and, stimula uh, and uh, stamina there. I'll be using that pretty soon. Um, and I like the fact that if you do bust up those skills, you do actually get experience for... Uh, okay. Uh, for using them. So anyway, we're going to save it here. Because reasons. No, I want to show you something here. So, all right. So there's a droid here in a pool. The pool looks mysterious indeed. But there's there's a chest over there. We got to go get it, right? There's nothing going to bad happen if I walk in here. What the, Trixies? Nah. See, yeah. You don't want to do that. I mean, you could if you don't really care about that. I sort of care. So let's go. Let's reload that. Yeah, I knew about that. So. No, I'm I'm actually a moron. I didn't see that coming. Actually, it's easy to skip that. It's not like it's obvious that there's a trap there. And unfortunately, no matter with how high awareness you got, you will be poisoned by that. If you've killed everyone on here, I guess technically you could just heal yourself up. But it's just a waste of resources. How we get past that is we talk to our little friend here. I want to reactivate this guy and make him go into the pool. Unfortunately, that'll use up all my repair parts. But eh, that's fine. I don't have a repair build anyway, so... Yep, he activates the gas bombs for me. And blows up shortly there afterwards. Thank you, droid fan. Thank you. You don't have the same rights as uh, as we do, but you saved me from death. Anyway, let's uh, get inside here. Alright, we get some upgrades for uh, we uh, ranged weapons, uh, melee upgrade, and the cardio regular, and a couple of plasma grades. Alright. Uh, let's see. Do I want to quit that belt? I think I've got... Yeah, that's the fortitude one. Um... I don't need stealth right now, although she's not, she doesn't have to worry too much about that, so we'll give that to, like, Karth or someone like that later on. But it's nice to have. Alright, uh, before we go on, I want to go and level up. Uh, Zalbar, yeah, unfortunately this level, there's not much, but just skills, so, oh well. Let me upgrade it. Uh, da -da. Yeah, that's good. And a mission. She also gets... Uh, she just gets skills, but she does get an upgrade in her Scoundrel's Luck, which is nice. Uh, yeah, it's upgrade security. Basically everything except for... Uh... Okay, we'll keep that for next level so you can upgrade Treat Injury. And she gets improved Scoundrel's Luck. Uh, whoops. I want to show... Whoops. Alright, improved Scoundrel's Luck is... Uh, she, uh, plus four to defense instead of plus two. So this is a way for, like I said, sure. a way for scoundrels to survive later into the game. So if you look at her stats now, oops. Uh, uh her defense is 24. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think, I think scoundrels players get a lot of bad credit in the game because of... I mean, playing a scoundrel is turning the game into hard mode, because let's face it, if you're a scoundrel, you get a ton of skills, but you get, like, no, um, um, you get no, like, uh, oh yeah, I already checked that one. You get no, uh, not enough feats, so you don't have enough, uh, options in battle, so you really kind of have to pick and choose. So you really, if you're playing a scoundrel, you're, you're basically, um, using, um, uh, yeah, see, so if you have the passcode, you can actually log out the, uh, um, th basically, you could, if you have the security, you could basically bypass a fight if you really want to, but I kind of want to show you just all the options. Anyway, yep, can't do anything. Haha. -ha. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I wanted to go back here because I finished everything on this floor. We look at the map. We are clear, so everything's gotten in good. Good, ready, great, go. All right, now we actually in the bulk, <laughs> Volcar, Volcar base proper this time, so... At least one of the many bases. Apparently Breshik isn't here from the information we got. So, oh well. Nothing we can do about that. We just have to, uh... I'm kind of surprised that they, with all the chaos we've been, you know, doing in this place, that they haven't, um... Called them already or sent people here. But maybe we're just too quick on the draw to, uh... Alright, we're inside the... 
Uh, we're inside the garage area, so... Uh, nice thing about this place is that if you have a repair build or have enough repair parts, you can uh, re uh, up, uh, upload a couple of dudes. Unfortunately, I'm out of repair parts, so... Oh, well. That's the that's the problem with not uh, having a high repair. I mean, I had a decent repair, but I didn't buy enough repair parts to really make it worth it. So, oh well. You could use two of them to help you if you really want to. Now, there should be a... Okay, yeah, there's a couple of dudes. I had to be careful. They're kind of tough. I don't want to wait for them to... Yeah, if you have repair, activate them and have them... Like many things, have them... Oh, have them go on... Dang it, I got, someone got a free smack on me. Uh, okay, so... Okay, well then... Um, I want to throw a concussion grenade on them because the... I think it's the guard is the is the difficult one. So okay, so I want to throw that. Oh right, I forgot. There's a couple. Um, okay, I want to throw that through the concussion grenade there. I want Zalbar to work on that. And how many grenades do I have? Do, can I throw like one out? Yeah, we'll do that as well. And then I'll have mission uh, start blasting, trying to sneak attack the that one there. And I think that's it. Then we'll uh, then I'll have my dude go in and start flurrying. Oh, well. oh did ah oh, come on. Oh well. Okay, so let's get there. I want to have Zalbar. I could have sworn we were immune from our grenades. Well, whoops. Okay, so I didn't take two. Oh, look, no, my main character's taking a bit, but he should be fine. She's got that, and she'll sneak attack the enemy. Uh, yeah, see, she does. I mean, if you get her into position, she can do damage. So it's not like okay. Yes. So we're good. Uh, I took a bit of a hit, not too bad. Probably a good thing, a good idea for that fight is to probably activate your um, energy shields while doing that. I didn't because I didn't take that much damage, but something to consider. Okay. Drop anything else? Yeah, well, I didn't. Another thing on my play build, I was able to sneak attack him. Now, one thing you could do with him, since they walk towards you, you could have set like maybe a mine or something like that and had to walk into it. Uh, but not required, but a nice little trick you could do. Okay, there should be a couple dudes. In here. Okay, one dude. No, that's that's another room I'm thinking of. Yeah, let's just go in. Here. Oh no, it's this room. Okay, <laughs> not too not too strong. I took him out in one smack, so you know, there you go. That's the funny thing about doing the two sword or the double wielding build is that a lot of characters will just go down in one hit. Wait till we wait till we max out flurry and two handed weapon fighting. Oh yeah. Alright, uh, okay. Yeah, just unlocking this round just for complete potion uh, portions. But anyway, this is a gear uh, gar the garage head's office uh, gives us a couple pizzazz cards, improved energy, and the garage head key card. Excellent. All right, uh, let's get some supplies there. Uh, yep, uh, computer spikes, repair kit, med kit, always needed more of those. Slice money on that. Okay, let's slice the computer. Alright, like before, you can open up all security guards, I don't need to do that. You can upload schematics, don't need that. Uh, we want to do one thing in here, but let's look over the options. Engine lab. Okay, so we got a group of people. Unfortunately, there aren't any overload circuits we can uh, uh, mess with, so, but that means that there is a confrontation uh, soon. So we have to be aware of that. Uh, at least in the engine lab. The loading bay, uh, nothing here. Uh, the garage office, that's us. <laughs> we don't want to overload the terminal because that'll hurt us. It won't kill us, but it'll hurt us a lot. Uh, and the garage. All right. Now there's an option here to overload the bikes. Uh, let's get, uh, let's do that so we can kill a couple of uh, uh, um, people in the area. Don't worry about the sounding alarm part. I mean, that's really not that important. And it pulls a lot of people out from. Uh, one less fight, one less thing you have to do to fight. So anyway, they're checking out the thing, and boom goes the dynamite. Haha. -ha. Too bad it doesn't make the uh, noise on the uh, camera. But anyway, yeah, we kill a couple of dudes. All right. Excellent. And we get the experience for it, so we don't have to fight. Yep. Like I said, you probably want to take advantage of this more if you're doing a. Uh... Hey, Big Z. We gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad worse than usual which is hard to believe in fact now that i think about it your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those gamorian slavers what'd they feed you buddy oh, i didn't i wasn't their guest mission i was a prisoner i don't think they cared much about what happened to me oh zalbar that's terrible 
I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. I did manage to take a chunk out of the arm of a guard so that's one too close to my cage. It tasted awful, so I spit it out. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. At least you're not brushed your teeth, Christian. It, it, it just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next, a comb? Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. Uh, I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. Yeah, like every once in a while, uh, in certain areas, the, the, your companions will talk to each other if they have something to say. I really don't know how to, like, activate those. I would do it more regularly, like hell, when I was doing my test run. I got them to do two conversations with each other, one in the previous area and one in here, but I frankly... And there's really no guides online that really... There's... I think there's... Uh, uh, possible possible chances of activation of of uh, um, uh, conversation, uh, but it's not guaranteed. So, I, like I said, I don't know. So I guess it's a random. But anyway, patrol droid here could have used energy shield, but he's not that difficult. Like one good hit and he's out. So there you go. Goodbye. Right, in here. Uh, oh wait, that's right. There's nothing in here. I forgot. Whoops. Oh well. Anyway, I can't get in there yet. Poo. Yeah. yeah, there's a there's a unfortunately there are just some doors that you just can't unlock, see. Yes. Impossible! Yep, no way to get through there. But yeah, if you'd uh, not uh, okay, so there's a couple should be now eh, let's get a frag grenade in and then we'll charge him. No, don't not another I don't want to waste actually that probably wouldn't have been a waste. Okay, so Zalbar, I want you to hit him. Mission, get rid of him, and I'll uh, yeah. kill this guy. Or not. I don't know why Zalbar did. Okay. I don't know why you all. Oh, maybe it's because he killed him so quickly. Okay. I was like, why did you ignore me, game? He probably died within Zalbar's first smack. Okay. Is he dropping anything? Sometimes they drop remains, sometimes they don't. But yeah. anyway, we got a couple of grenades up here. Let's get rid of those. Your grenades are grenades. Your minds are nothing for the skillful hands of a Twi'lek girl at the age of. Uh, actually, did they ever give uh, her missions age? Uh, she's supposed to be a teenager, probably 16 or 17, I assume. Maybe 18, but I don't know if the game yes. ever actually says she's supposed to be just not young enough to be kind of a uh, not juvenile, but like like not knowledgeable about the world. World, if that's uh, an explanation we can use. So, okay, so. There's a dude in there. There's a dude in here too, if I remember. Yeah, let's take him out. Yep. Sorry, scientist man, or or whatever you are, you're dead now. Okay. Is there anything in here? Okay. Ah, radiation shields. Excellent. That's just energy shields, but oh well. Okay. Let's uh. Oh, we might as well have one for everyone. I need to start using them. I will sure. actually hear soon. There's a there's a, an encounter coming up really soon. I'm going to activate my uh, shields for so. All right. Oh, here we go. Got a couple dudes in here. These guys should be easy. So pretty much one shot. Most of these guys, if you've got the right build. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Goodbye. May the force be with you, sucker. Okay. All right, and here we get a workbench. So if you haven't been able to upgrade stuff in a while, here's your chance to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All it is is a place to upgrade armor and weapons. Let's do that. It's been a while. Unfortunately, I don't really have any good uh, melee or ranged weapons to use. So uh, we got Zalbar's caster, but uh, well, I'm not using a I'm not using a rifle. So there you go. And finally, we can upgrade that Achani fiber armor we've had forever. Let's go ahead and assemble it. We want to add the uh, this. It'll add. Uh, Plus two to, uh, bonus defenses, it says right there under special properties. And damage resistance. Uh, we're not really dealing with anything that actually has that, so... Oh, well. But, yeah. Look at that. Be defense bonus, uh, so plus two to what I originally had before. Excellent. All right, then let's upgrade my blades. Uh, we want to upgrade that. They'll add uh, plus one to a hit. Excellent. And the missions blade will do the one that gives me an extra damage. So... All right, there we go. 
or plus one to attack. I mean, sorry, uh, wrong. Recover resistance. Nice. Ex any even better blades. Sorry, Zalbar. These are for me. I'll get you better. I'll, <laughs> Zalbar might actually eventually take over these blades anyway. So, all right. There's a couple ways to enter the room here. So, all right. Before we encounter this, I want to go ahead and save it because this is actually a. Okay. Well, actually, this guy. The technically, this encounter is kind of optional, actually, and I'll show you what I mean here in a second. The conversation will dictate otherwise but this is actually the cover this is the fight where i want to um as soon as the battle starts i want to activate energy shields and stamina or uh adrenaline things uh but uh we'll do that as the battle starts mission will be important for quick ca crowd control while we do this not it's not difficult but it is a look what we have visitors lackeys conned by gate back into trying to steal brezik's swoop engine accelerator i bet brezik stole that engine from gaden it was never yours to begin with. Well, I didn't just go to all the trouble of acquiring this prototype just so you could steal it back for that old fool. Would you like me to dispose of these Beck spies, Ken? No, hold on a second. I see you aren't wearing the hidden Beck colors, so I'm guessing you aren't part of that feeble old man's gang. You must be a freelance mercenary. Uh, enough yapping head over the accelerator. You're right, I'm not one of the Becks. My name is Valdemar. Instead of deal stealing the prototype for the Becks, why don't you come work for us? The Black Volkars could use someone like you. You've got now. Basically, you could just uh, you could listen to him, which is you know you at least listen to him. You don't have to make an official. Basically, this option is it doesn't officially make your decision, but it kind of gives you an idea of how you're presented towards him. Anyway. Forget, I know about all you black Volkars. Be smart, Gen's deck is old news. He's a blind fool in more ways than one. Brezik is a visionary. Soon he'll control the entire lower city. Don't shatter yourself to a losing team. How about I just kill you instead? Forget, I'm not going to betray Gen. You've got my attention, what's your offer? Basically, if you still want to kind of curious about how to play it, basically there's two ways to do this. Uh, basically, you can get out of this encounter. You can basically choose to join the... the basically help them and it still gets you what you need funnily enough and that's the dark side way of doing it you could still be good and do it it's just you you'll have a few dark side points to to uh kind of fix yourself of of later on but uh, uh but yeah if you're one dark side points go ahead and uh listen to him and join him or you know good points and don't listen to him now funny enough you're probably thinking to yourself how would your companions react to this because most of your companions are good why would they even listen to this? Well, if you have Karth with you, he makes a he makes kind of a he kind of gives you an issue about working with him, but overall he agrees that we just need to get as long as they give us Bastila, uh, and we win the race for them. Uh, he doesn't care that much. Zalbar doesn't care either for the most part, just because it doesn't affect him. Uh, but Mission actually does have a, uh, a a kind of a dialogue with them about about him and well. You know what? I'm going to show you, like, really you should just say forget it if you're not going to or just killing them. It's kind of another dark way of doing it, but I'm going to show you what happens when I choose. You've got my attention. What? You can't betray Gadden. I won't let you. Ah, uh, mission. The Hidden Beck's unofficial mascot. Your loyalty is admirable, but misplaced. Gadden only kept you around so they could laugh at you and your fury, furry friend. No, that, that's not true. You're lying. Am I? How long have you known Gaiden? How long have you worked for him? But they never offered to make you hidden back, did they? They they said I was too young. And you believe that? Come on, Mission. You're smarter than that. To Gaiden and his crew, you're nothing but a running joke. Weren't they always teasing you? Well, yeah, some of them were. But you folkers have tried to kill me more than once. So that's only because you're with the hidden backs and because we respected you. Freshick knows you're not a joke, Mission. He made sure the Volkars took you very, very seriously. But, but Gadden said Freshick. Gadden had to poison your mind against Freshick. It was the only way to keep you from seeing the truth. The backs were mocking you, Mission. You don't need friends like that. You're right. I don't need anyone but Zalbar. If Gadden dies, he's only getting what's coming to him. Yeah, mission's kind of gullible. Like, if you want to, basically, this is a way for a dark side player to convince. You don't even have to do the convincing. He does it for you, so you don't have to make that persuade roll against her. So, so yeah, if you want to follow with the Brex plans, go ahead and tell him what his offer was. And I think you have one more chance to get out of it. But I'm going to say, hey, mission, you're crazy. 
You failed your you failed your will save. We eat the nadana eat. Uh, I can see this isn't much of a chance of convincing you to come to work with us after all. Most unfortunate. Can we kill them now, Ken? Yes, darling. Kill them. Kill them all. All right. Now we got to fight against Ken, uh, Ken Candon and his uh, bodyguards. Okay. So what we want to do for this fight is we need a bit of crowd control while we uh, while we deal with this. So what I want to do is I want to. Uh, oops. Not iron grenades, sorry. I want to, uh, okay, I want a concussion grenade them. Whoops, sorry. And then I want to, uh, frag grenade them, and then I'm going to start, just to kind of give them a couple bit of damage, I'm going to have her wail on this lady here. She, she goes down pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to want to do uh, another grenade here in a second when it comes up. Okay, I want to activate my energy shield because they have blasters. I also want to get in a... Uh, do I want to do... A, yeah, I'll do a frag, frag grenade for that one too. Uh, and then Zalbar, same thing. I want to activate his... Oh no, I know what I want to do. Whoops, sorry. Okay, first I want to energy shield and then I want to uh, strike stamina myself. So, uh, Zalbar doesn't really need the strength stamina. He'll be fine. Uh, but I also want him, I want him to energy shield and then attack her. Okay. That should be good to go. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the concussion again. Last time I did the test run it, I got, I got the, uh, her, the body, female bodyguard, I got her uh, stunned, but oh well. Can't get them all. Sure, okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, like I said, it's a roll of the dice, so... Okay. After that... Has he activated a shield yet? No, he hasn't. Okay, so I want to... Oops. I want to start getting him. And the reason I have mission on him, because I, I basically want her to sneak attack her. Yeah? While with the, oh, did she... She activated her shield, so... Okay, so I want to... Then again, I'm going to have her... Combat... Uh, that I was the shield already went out, but uh, that uh, that got rid of a lot. It should go down pretty quickly. Do you activate the shield yet? Okay, so I want to have, have. I might have me do that. Okay, so because I, I need to. Uh, oh, she's still up. What the heck, man? Okay, fine. Zalbar, take out this guy so he like mission. Okay. Oh. Uh, she's on to him, so I may have to what? kill her. I need to move her, basically, so I just get her out of the way. Okay, uh, he's got his shield on, so I want to... This way it'll be easier. I want to ion grenade him so he can, uh... That way I get rid of his shield. Okay, Zalbar's on that. Actually, um, do I want... I thought I killed her, but apparently she's still up, so... Oh. Yeah, I probably should have activated Zalbar's energy shield again. Yeah, let's go and do that. He's taking too much damage. I may heal. Actually, I may heal her afterwards. Yes. Yeah. Okay, she's down. Yeah, like I said, last time I did this fight, like, uh, Zalbar, like, just murderized her in like one second like it was it was pretty funny actually like, how quickly she went down like a rag doll uh but unfortunately for some reason during this fight i did he didn't suffer okay did i get rid of his shield i think i did uh, am i still i think my adrenaline went out so uh, and uh do I want, no i'm good on that so i want to just i want to go ahead and flurry him till zalbar takes out uh the bo rest of the bodyguards. So. Okay, good. Uh, him and uh, Mission Together took him out, so... Okay, and I want her to also get in the area so he can... she can sneak attack him, and I think I'm still doing good on him. Now that Ion Shield didn't uh, do much damage to his... Uh... Okay, so after that, I want... Zalbar to help me with this fight over here, so I want him to get... Okay. So. 
Uh, let's see, am I still flaring? I'm still flaring, and then I need mission uh -huh. to... Unfortunately, she's not going to do much in the fight because he's still got a sh energy shield on, but oh well. Not much we can do. Am I taking some hits? Okay, so I want to heal. Uh, do I want to heal with Zalbar? Probably should. Maybe he'll keep his mind off of the, the combat. Yes. Nice. Okay. Pretty, yeah, this guy's got a bit of defense, so if he hits Zalbar one more time, I'll... Uh, yeah, unfortunately his defense is just weirdly high, so we just have to kind of... Ah, there we go, he's down, finally. Not too difficult as long as you activate your energy shields uh, and, you know, your strength. Like I said, I probably could have made that a bit more effective. Oh, we got dropped a headpiece, an adrenal th uh, thing. We also got upgrade for weapons, disruptor pistol. Ooh, we got an implant, nice. Sith energy shields, I think they... If I remember correctly, they... Ooh, we also got a headband, nice. The Sith energy shields, if I remember correctly, they actually... Uh, defend against a bit more damage. Okay, we got all that. So, all right. Okay. Whoops. Oh wow, I forgot that fight took a bit longer than I expected. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So, in the next episode, of Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, we'll finally grab the swoop, swoop race, uh, uh accelerator, give it to Hidden Bex, and finally race against the Black Volcar and finally save Bastila. Hopefully, the plot will finally be completed. We'll finally save the Jedi. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And may the Force be with you.